Hello guys, as you can see I have front of me my DIY LIFEPO phosphate car battery that I made 2 years ago. After 2 years of use on my 23 years old Toyota Levin with 1600cc engine under high and low temperatures from 0 to 45 degrees, the battery responded instantly, without any difficulties or problem at low and high temperatures. So, today I decided to move on the next steps. One is to make a battery diagnose to see capacity loss after 2 years of use. And the second step is the battery appearance upgrade. The first and most important test I do is to see if the battery voltages are balanced. As you can see the parallel cells have almost exactly the same voltages, something very important for the long battery life. Also, on each parallel series we see low limit of voltages. This is because yesterday the switch of the brake pedal broke. As a result the stop lights was on until the next morning, without me notice them. If it was a lead acid battery the effects will be very serious and repairable damage on battery life, like 20-30% life damage. But in my case I have the BMS, which is as soon it see low voltage just cut off the power at the safe level to protect the battery. This is one of the biggest advantages of this battery and BMS combination. Now let's charge and discharge the battery to make diagnose to see how much life or capacity it has left after 2 years of use. Our battery results is 13.85 amps after 2 years. But it seems that the BMS cuts power much earlier than it should be cut. Normally LiFePO phosphate batteries must cut the power at 2.5 volts on cell. I believe if the battery is discharged at the lowest voltage level, it will definitely get full capacity. <laughs> 